Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because new figure images are here. Uh, these come courtesy of WWE.com and it is Elite 66. We had only seen Kevin Owens up to this point, but now we get the whole series. We get to see every figure in that range and they look absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Uh, so let's get straight to the image. Here they are. Look, these are all of the figures except for Alexander Wolf. And we will come back to Alexander Wolf in a bit. So the figures that jump out straight to me are the Bludgeon Brothers. Uh, they're so big and imposing. And they come with bludgeoners. Uh, I think they're actually called mallets, but still, uh, they look very, very cool. So, let's start at the start. Let's have a look at picture number one, AJ Styles. Uh, I think this figure looks awesome. I'm not sure about the hair. I'm just going to be straight out honest. I'm not sure about the hair. I think the face looks phenomenal. Uh, that is true FX technology. Uh, it comes with a WWE Championship. Uh, you get a little entrance top as well. The house that AJ built. Kind of thought that it would be in these colours. Because the pictures promoting it were in these colours. Uh, and it looks amazing. But what grabs my attention are those spare hands. Because you get those hands. Those hands that have got the Phenomenal One logo on them. I don't recall seeing Mattel do that before. I could be wrong. But you can see it down there next to his legs. Um, now, the only problem I've got with this is I'm not sure you're going to be able to put the hands together to actually do his entrance. I can see this being a real sign of frustration uh, for people when these figures come out. Because you're going to have the logos on the gloves. But I don't think the articulation is there to actually put them together. Um, but anyway, let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, it's just a concern at this stage. Great figure, though. Uh, great figure. Next up, we've got a figure that I'm not as excited for. Uh, Kurt Angle. Uh, the Kurt Angle figure, I think, is looks colourful. Looks very bright. Reminds me of the recent... New Day figures that we had, um, but just just not my favourite Kurt Angle because this isn't my favourite Kurt Angle run. Uh, obviously, he's only had a few matches. None of them have really been that memorable, in my opinion. This is from Survivor Series, which is why he comes with the raw top. Uh, again, not cloth. This isn't a cloth top. That last AJ one wasn't cloth, which is a bit of a shame, but it could be a cost-saving thing. Because we are getting a lot in this series. Um, so, totally understandable. Uh, still a great figure, but uh, not my favourite in this lineup. Next, we have got Nikki Cross. And somewhat, somewhat wrong again here. Um, for me, she's not manic enough in the face. It's a small criticism, but this just doesn't capture Nikki Cross for me. Uh, you can see that it is her in the face. But she never looks that placid. Uh, she's always very manic. She's always very extreme with her facial expressions. I think the hair is okay. I don't know if the hair might be a bit off as well. Body looks absolutely fine. Uh, I think the body type looks cool. Love the detail on the ring attire. Love the entrance jacket. I think the uh, face mask thing looks really cool. There is a lot to like about this figure. But I'm just not sure about the face. Next up, we've got Kevin Owens. We'd seen this before, uh, as we said, Wrestling Shop Live. Love the fact it comes with a cloth yep, yep, yep top. Um, and this is going to be a chase figure as well. Uh, because the chase version is KO Mania 3. So it's the same figure, just different attire. I prefer the KO Mania 3 top. Because every year WrestleMania comes around and Kevin Owens is there, he changes uh, his top. So we had KO Mania 2 figure, uh, and now it looks like we will get KO Mania 3. Uh, but we're just going to have to get it as that chase. Um, I love the face, though. I think that they're doing a great job with the facial hair now, with the true effects. Um, and we're getting ever closer. This is a new head 
for Kevin Owens. It kind of mixes the true effects with uh, a, an old hair sculpt, which is why we're getting we're getting closer and closer and closer. I kind of feel like we're there. Um, I don't know. I feel like we might take one more step, maybe change the hair just a little bit more. But we are there or thereabouts. Now we're at the Bludgeon Brothers. We have got Rowan. Look at all the stuff you get with Rowan. You get an entrance jacket. You get the hood that looks like it's detachable. You get the face mask. There's a belt. You get a bludgeoner. Uh, the figure's got loads of detail. He's got gritted teeth. Like, I, there is nothing you could change about this figure. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Uh, maybe... Maybe the figure, when you take the accessories off, just looks a little bit weird because of the size of the body. Um, just looks like a figure. It doesn't look like a person. But when you put all them accessories on, it looks absolutely stunning. If you are going to stand this on your shelf, I mean, of course you can play with it and it will look awesome. But if you're going to stand this on display... Uh, it's going to look amazing. That is a fantastic figure. Harper, I think, might look better. Um, it might just be the way the picture has been taken. Um, but when you take his accessories off him, uh, the figure itself just looks a little bit better. Um, but those accessories look amazing. I love the detail, like the bee that's on the mallet. I just think it looks stunning. Uh, so that is Elite 66. It's a great lineup. It's a fantastic series. Uh, but there is one more figure in that series. You have to go to Target to get this um, when Elite 66 comes out. And it is Alexander Wolf. This, this actually might be my figure of the series. I love the attire. Look at the detail that is on that ring attire. Um, I think the face scan looks awesome. Love the jacket as well. Love the fact that you can actually change um, his entrance attire. So you're getting a couple of different entrance attires. Obviously, you can change the hands as well. Um, I just love that ring attire, though. I don't know what it is about it. Kind of reminds me a little bit, very, very small, of the Iron Sheik. I don't know why. Uh, I'm just getting that vibe. Um, but it just, it's awesome. I am so excited for getting the whole of Sanity. Obviously, Eric Young is out. Now you're getting um, Alexander Wolf and Nikki Cross. We know that Killian Dane is on the way. You put all four of them in a row, that is going to look amazing. Absolutely amazing. But the news doesn't stop there, my friends, because retro figures here you can see an image of the retro figures that have been found uh, in stores now. So get out there. I think these were in Walmart. And uh, you can see four figures. Shawn Michaels. So Shawn Michaels is one of those figures. Uh, and also Kurt Angle. As well as that, Chris Jericho and Sheamus. So it feels like we've been waiting a while for new retro figures. Um, but very, very cool to see them hitting the shelves. A uh, little bit of news regarding upcoming Funko Pops. We are going to see Randy Orton, Batista, Charlotte Flair and Ric Flair. Uh, that news coming courtesy of uh, Wrestling Fig News is where I saw it. And then finally, Hulk Hogan is coming back to WWE. He will be on Raw on Monday Obviously, the sad news uh, coming out about Mean Gene Oakland. Uh, and so Hulk Hogan is going to be there to pay his respects. Uh, and rightfully so, because Mean Gene really was one of the big names in wrestling during its boom period in the 80s and 90s. Um, and really, a, a very fitting tribute, I feel. I know a lot of people are critical that Hulk Hogan's coming back under such circumstances. But... Uh, I feel like it's for Mean Gene. I really do. Uh, so I'm not critical at all. But this is big news for wrestling figure fans. Because when Hogan returned at Crown Jewel, uh, we knew that we probably wasn't going to see him again till WrestleMania. Those are the only two events that he had mentioned. So it kind of felt like it was a bit sketchy what kind of a deal he was under. Just didn't really know, you know, when we were going to start seeing figures of Hogan. Probably going to have to wait till... WrestleMania, but now he's on Raw, even though it's because of 
the Mean Gene situation. There's every chance they've brought that deal forward. Um, you know, if we're going to see him on Raw on Monday, we might they might use him more in the build-up to WrestleMania. All of this is a good sign for wrestling figures because uh, that means surely he's under some sort of contract. Surely Mattel can start making figures. Maybe they started at Crown Jewel. But honestly, I don't know. All I know is the more you see Hogan, the better chance we have of getting Hogan figures. Uh, an actual Mattel Hollywood Hogan or that zombie Hogan that's uh, been doing the rounds recently. So, yeah, very, very interesting news. But Hogan is back on Raw on Monday. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.